Hello and welcome to Detroit Performs. I'm your host, DJ Oliver, and today I'm at the Rust Belt Market on Nine Mile and Woodward in Ferndale. I'll talk to the owner of the market later in the show to get you more details about this awesome venue. But first up is classically trained violinist who took the instrument to a new level by creating his own unique looping system. The system allows for him to be an all live, one man symphony. Here's Dixon's violin. I like the idea that when you see me on stage, you see one person and a violin, but what you hear is 12. And there's something about that that I think is powerful. I can have the freedom to tap into, what am I feeling right now? What's the emotion I want to get across? Okay, I, let's now create something that feels like that. My passion is to inspire people. And I think, it's, I think it's contagious. It's because I've been inspired by others. It wasn't until later that I realized, no, I'm in control of my life. Like, I'm at the steering wheel, and I can steer it wherever I want. And there's so many possibilities. And I want to encourage people to do that, too. So when you hear my music, you're going to hear something you've never heard before. It's going to be wildly different. And also, the way that I live my life is different than most people, and I want you to know you can do it too. It's very difficult to describe what I do. I like the phrase visionary violinist. I played classical music forever on a traditional acoustic violin, and now I use a five-string electric violin. I found that guitar players use their feet. I never knew this before. They have all these gizmos and doodads at their feet that they're using to give themselves different effects. And I thought, well, I wonder if I could plug my violin, my electric violin, in into those, those toys. And yes, you can. I developed a system now using a laptop and foot pedals and my own programming to allow me to sound like many of me at the same time. Generally, I'm using two sets of tools to give me more options for my music. One of them are effects. So when you normally play a violin, it sounds like that. Whereas I can also add like an echo effect. So an echo effect, or I can pluck, or I can add an effect of a bass effect, or even lower. So whatever I'm playing, my system drops it down an octave or two if I want. Then the other set of tools I'm using are, are loops. And what this allows me to do is to, is to play something and repeat it. So whatever I play, it'll play row, row, row your boat style. And then I can add onto that. Two levels. More and more. I love the variety that I have at my disposal. The violin itself is already a very flexible instrument. Violin is used in all kinds of styles of music. Then I've created my, my toys at my feet to give me even more flexibility for the moods that I can explore. And so there are moments that are you know, beautiful and pretty, and then there are moments that are angry. Just rawr. My improvising has been uh, so much fun. And often, it's just a sandcastle. I will, and, and it, in fact, I start every concert that way. I start with a song that doesn't exist. Right? It's from scratch, no idea what's going to happen, and, it's, and it will never happen again. And sometimes they come back. Sometimes this theme will come back, and it'll come back, and oh yeah, or this, this thing, oh yeah, I want to I hang on to that one, and sometimes I can, and sometimes I can't. But if they come back enough, then they get a name. I have a few kind of favorite or frequent, frequent repeat songs that, uh, that I love to do, and if the energy feels right, I, I will bring them back. Uh, one that comes to mind is called The Forest, uh, which was created uh, at a, an event in the Forest, Electric Forest Festival. 
And uh, that's one. That's the one that actually I had to kind of go back and reverse engineer and, and transcribe myself, which is weird. Um, that often comes back. There's a song called Jade Dragon that is the title track on their latest CD, and uh, my love uh, inspired that. I was honored to be asked to do an unusual performance at a festival where they invited me to play first thing in the morning as people were waking up. So in the distance, people were sleeping and starting to wake up from their tents. And there was a tiny island. And I played first thing in the morning while the, the water was covered with mist and there was a light rain coming down. And it was a really beautiful moment. There are certain settings that lend themselves to uh, certain moods. I find that there's a co-creation that happens. Like, I'm part of this, but I'm not all of it. The space is part of it too. And then the people, the audience, definitely are part of it. So together, it's like the three of us are gonna create this experience, which is really fun for me, so it's different every time. I really started to take things seriously when people started to tell me that their lives were changed, that they, they literally were now looking at life through a whole new way, and I was part of that. I'm enjoying that it's working. I am reaching people. I get, I get the, the hugs and the messages afterwards from people regularly that are telling me that I've, I've touched them, and that means all the world to me. I would offer anyone in a nine to five that find if you're having joy in your life, and it's up to you to create that. For me, there was a point where my, my career eventually was hindering my passion. And so I made a shift, and I would encourage everybody, the shift is up to you. It's not up to your, your boss to change to make you happy, your partner in life to change to make you happy. It's up to you to change to make you happy. You can learn more about Dixon's violin as well as all the artists we feature on DetroitReforms.org.